Red Sox hosting the Rays, and the Rays are plus 100 on the money line. The Red Sox are minus 118. The over-under, nine, nine runs. The Rays laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 152, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two. And the Red Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 184, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And these are the games that I hate when one team is the favorite on the money line and the other team is the favorite on the uh, run line. Saval pitched twice against the Red Sox last year as a member of Cleveland or the Guardians. I hate saying the Guardians. Five and a third, three runs, three earned. They lost 7-3. He struck out 12. Five and two thirds, two runs, two earned. They won 10-3. He struck out three. Pavetta pitched twice against the Rays last year. Four and two thirds, three runs, three earned. They lost 3-1. He struck out five. Five shutout innings. They lost one nothing. He struck out six. The weather at Fenway Park tomorrow is supposed to be 70 degrees with 15 mile an hour winds blowing out and a 12% chance of rain. So bring your umbrellas because it's probably going to be raining home runs if that wind stays like that. Head-to-head, -head, the Rays are 8-2. and two. The Rays are on a five-game winning streak. The road team's on a three-game winning streak. The road team is 7-3. and three. The favorite's on a five-game winning streak. The favorite is 9-1 and one on the money line. The favorite also laying a run and a half on the run line is 9-1. and one. There haven't been any one-run games in their last 10 meetings. Regardless of who wins, it's multiple runs. The under is... Uh, six, two, and two. The under is six and four. Forgive me. The under nine is six and four, and the under is hitting their last two. The Rays are two and three in Savale's last five starts. The over is four and one in those starts. The last game he pitched went under. Four and two thirds, six point four hits, four point six earned runs, five strikeouts, one point six walks, one home run per game, and eighty seven point four pitches. There's only been one game in his last five where he didn't give up a home run. And he's given up at least one home run in his last three starts. For the Red Sox, they are two and three in Pavetta's last five starts. The under has hit in his last five starts. He's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched. Four hits, 1.2 earned runs, 6.2 strikeouts, 0.8 walks, 0.8 home runs, and 82.2 pitches. So it just depends on how quickly he gets to those 82 pitches before he gets 86 out of the game. The Rays are 7-3 in their last 10, 2-2 two two in their last 4. 2 runs, 9 runs, 16 runs, 8 runs. Shut out and a loss, 7 runs and a win, 6 runs and a loss, and then 5 runs and a win today. For the Red Sox, they are 3-7 and seven in their last 10. The under is 9-1. and one. 6 runs, 6 runs, 5 runs, 8 runs. 1 run and a loss, 4 runs and a win, 3 runs and a win, and then 3 runs and a loss. The under has hit in their last 2, 4, 6 games that they have played. Now, I'm going to take the Rays on the money line. I am going to take the Rays laying the runs. I hope it switches and they get runs. And I'm going to lean over, provided that the wind stays at 15 plus miles an hour blowing out. If it shifts in any other direction, go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.